What's up guys, this is David here from FunBuff.com and today I'm going to give you a quick look at the settings in Android Ice Cream Sandwich. So first thing you'll notice in the settings is at the very top you have these toggles for Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. So it just makes it a lot easier to be able to turn them on and off uh, just by swiping them like that. You have data usage which is completely new. Um, lets you monitor how much data your phone's using. It lets you see which apps are using that data and also lets you set warnings and limits to how much data your phone uses. So if you're trying to avoid, let's say, going over five gigabytes that your carrier imposes uh, overages when you pass, you could actually limit your device to five gigabytes and you don't ever have to worry about overages. Um, let's go ahead and click on an app. You can see uh, it tells you how much app or how much data the app is using in the foreground. In this case, about 90 megabytes. In the background, it's using about 40 megabytes. So if I wanted, I could actually disable background data, which means that the app won't be able to use data unless I physically open it myself. So I hit back, back out of here, and I hit more. Nothing really new here compared to Gingerbread, um, other than, of course, Android Beam, which was introduced with Ice Cream Sandwich. And uh, you could click on this guy and just pretty much read about it and uh, turn it on or off. So I'm going to leave it on, back out of here. And uh, let's go to sound. Nothing really new here other than music effects, which uh, lets you choose the control panel that you want to use. And um, it's pretty much all that's new here. Let's back out. Under display, you have uh, your normal settings and uh, pulse notification light. So the Galaxy Nexus has a little LED at the very bottom, and uh, you can choose whether or not you want that to flash when you get a new message. Under storage, just gives you a breakdown of your storage space and uh, what it's or what's using it up. So in this case, apps seem to be using most of my storage, followed by pictures and audio. All right, let's go to battery. Uh, it gives you a rundown of you know what's using your battery. Uh, it gives you a little bit of chart. You see the percentage right over here. So I have 28 percent, and actually I could actually click on it and I get more detailed uh, data. So Pretty much the uh, the gist I'm getting from Ice Cream Sandwich or the settings is, you know, you just have a lot more control over, you know, what's going on. You can see your data, you can see your storage space, you can see your uh, battery under apps. It's your normal list, so you can uninstall them if you want or clear data. And of course, under personal, you have your accounts in sync. Uh, nothing new here. Location service, nothing new. Security. Only thing that's new, of course, here is you have your face unlock that you can set. And what's interesting, you can also do no, none, which means that you could have no lock screen at all. So when you press the power button, it's just uh, up and running, which is pretty interesting. Um, like I said, nothing new here. Under languaging input, you have your keyboards. You have Google Voice Typing and Android keyboard uh, stock. And uh, you can see Google Voice Typing is actually enabled because if you disable this guy and enable this one you just have the keyboard with this guy you have both which is kind of weird but that's the way it is uh, voice recognizer you could choose to use google's voice recognizer or in this case vlingo uh, and that's because i downloaded vlingo onto my phone and uh, you could also choose your voice search settings and your text-to-speech output um, another thing that's new is a uh, pointer speed so this is, I think, more, more so for uh, tablets, uh, like the Asus Transformer Prime. Um, if you have a trackpad, it's almost like a mouse on the phone, giving you a more desktop-like experience. Under Backup and Reset, you just have the option to select whether or not it backs up your data, like the apps that you download on the server. Um, when you log in uh, for the first time on Ice Cream Sandwich, it'll download all the apps automatically to your phone, and you can choose whether or not you want it to do that. And of course, you could do a factory reset. It's back out of there. Under date and time, nothing new here. Under accessibility, you have your normal uh, options like large text and uh, talk back so it reads out, out loud what you just selected. Developer options, USB debugging, stay awake like you've normally seen. Um, you could also force GPU rendering, which is kind of cool. And uh, you could choose the transition scales uh, animation scales right here so you can decide how fast it goes and whatnot um, pretty cool to see those options available and 
of course, under about phone, just have your Android version number and the ability to uh, look for updates. But that's a quick look at the settings. I mean, it just looks a lot nicer, just like everything else in Ice Cream Sandwich. And uh, my favorite part really has got to be these three, having the toggles right here, the data usage. And uh, I find myself using these toggles now instead of downloading a widget to do it because all you got to do is swipe down from here and hit settings. So that's pretty much it on the settings. This is David from PhoneBuff.com. Thank you for watching the video. And don't forget to visit PhoneBuff.com for more cell phone news, reviews, and how-tos.